Welcome to Family Recipe Battle. You can't take all the berries. Becky told me I'm not allowed to share. This week features Becky. Her husband, Keith, is going to be cooking against her best friend, Matt. Does it look or... like a berry? I don't know. And at the end, there's going to be a blind taste test to see which dish Becky likes best and who actually loves her the most. I don't know if they love me, because it doesn't seem like they know me. Will it be the Who's Band? Oh! Or the best friend. Do you think it's burnt? How it's smoky in here. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks to Kroger for sponsoring today's episode. Kroger makes it easy to find out what's fresh, what's happening, and it's always affordable. It's a really big toss up whether Matt or Keith has cooked for me more. During the pandemic, when we were in our little bubble, Matt was cooking for me at least once a week. I think I'll do pretty well. I cook for Becky a lot. I uh, don't hear a lot of complaints. That said, a lot of the things that are her favorites are not my favorites. Becky loves everything I cook, so I think I have this in the bag. Becky's gonna want us to make something very savory, some type of braised lamb or fried chicken thing. I think we're making chicken pot pie. We've got a lot of amazing fresh seasonal fruit today from Kroger. It's not a lot of fruit in a chicken pot pie. Becky, what is today's challenge? It is my favorite food in the world. I eat it almost every day. Today, you will be making candy. Can't you candy? Candy, candy. You eat candy every day? That's your favorite dish. I myself don't consider candy food. Neither of them are particularly like sweets boys. I feel like Becky is coming for me. She's trying to sabotage me. I wanted to make it fair this time. Whenever Keith and Matt are around, I kind of play favorites. It's mad. Let's get two hours on the clock and your time starts now. Wow, two hours. We're gonna take a break, I guess, right at the beginning. A break? Like what are you much. talking about? Hey, you can't take all the you can't take all the berries. I love sour candies and gummy candies, things that are really, really chewy, but I also like very indulgent candies. I really hate milk chocolate though. I need at least some of these berries. You can't take all the no berries. No sharing. Becky told me I'm not allowed to share. Well, you're not sharing. These aren't yours. They're everyone. Fine, Keith. Uh, so at first I was gonna make something kind of chocolatey, but then I saw that we had all this amazing fruit from Kroger, and I love traveling and stuff, and you have all those candied fruits, and those just look so good. So I'm going to attempt at making candied fruit. What do you think you're gonna try to do? I'm gonna basically do two things here. I'm gonna try to recreate my childhood candy the best I can, while also making a sour mixed berry flavor. So you already have candy background? Well, I mean, the last time I did it, I was 17. 50 Ooh. years ago or so. The recipe that I think it is, and what I'm gonna do, because I think that's it, is a cup of water, a cup of sugar, and two thirds of a cup of corn syrup. Look at the corn syrup go. And I got a candy thermometer here, which would be helpful if I ever used one as a child. But I just used this like trick, which is if the sugar squiggles in, wa <laughs> squiggles in water. Sounds crazy when you say it out loud. You know, I'm just trying to get my mise en place ready, because when you get the sugar really hot and kind of bubbling, you have a short window of time to dip everything in and get it ready. That's so, true. It's like a two minute window mm -hmm. of the sugar being undercooked or overcooked. Exactly. Would this work with raspberries? You're trying to juice raspberries? <laughs> I'd say it didn't work. Okay, let's try a few more raspberries. It's like Play-Doh. Well, it looks like Keith is off to a great start. Well, that's how candy's made. <laughs> I know Becky's very particular with her texture. She does have a texture. Can have, you know, that weird gushiness, so. But candy is like, texture becomes more okay. Now, but she does say when she gets gummies, if they're fresh, <laughs> she'll like open a candy bag and go, Oh, these are fresh. What do you mean? They're not fresh. These are months old at this point. That's just how candy works. But I know that when you're making candy, your worst enemy is water because the water will start to kind of seep out of the fruit and make the hard candy shell like really gummy tasting, which is not what I'm going for. I am going for that. So water, water, water. Okay, we're gonna try to juice the cherries. <laughs> we need more cherries. This actually works really well. Maybe grapes. What flavor is this, Keith? Mixed berry. Does, does it look like a berry? Grapes? I don't know. Mmm, looks like mixed berry to me. All right, we're gonna add some gelatin into our mixed berry. Hopefully it will cool in time. Yeah, how long are they supposed to set? I don't know, it sets in like an hour. It's like all day. 
So I'm prepping these all and then I'm gonna skewer them and then once I get my mixture going, I can dip them in. You know, it's a little bit tedious of a process, but the more you plan and execute now, the easier it's gonna be later. I love this little mold. They look like little jewels. Becky loves jewelry. It looks more like honeycomb. No, they're like little, like, like little... Honeycombs. Like When I heard that, it made me a little afraid, but now that I'm witnessing an action. I have no idea how long you're supposed to boil the gelatin. It's making me feel a little more confident. Candy. So I'm making my candy mixture. So I'm gonna start out with two cups of sugar, one cup of water, and I'm just gonna put a little drizzle of the corn syrup in there just to help kind of harden it up. What's your favorite candy, Keith? My favorite candy? Mm -hmm. Steak. Steak. <laughs> Matt, how's it going? Hi, Matt, good. You know, I've got my mise en place here, all my fruits that I'm gonna candy. Looks beautiful. I have my candied mixture on the stove, trying to get it hot. So mm -hmm. just the candied fruit? Just the candied fruit. Have you made candied fruit? No, but- There we just, go, I mean, there we go. Is that really candy? I think it is. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll be great. Thanks for your support. You're welcome. I appreciate <laughs> it. Keith, Ned, how's it going man. over here? How hey. you doing? Candy number one, we got candy number two. We're making some sour gummies. Over here we're making an attempt at my old hard candy I used to make back in the day. When I was in junior high and high school, I used to make and sell candy. So the candy recipe was actually very similar to the recipe for Hollywood sugar glass. And it evolved from me making an ice cube tray worth so like 12 pieces to me making 180 tiny pieces of candy every night. At the height of my candy career, I was making about $25 to $30 a day. At one point, the school did catch on to me and they're like, Keith, you can't do this. What if it was a fundraiser? Oh, well, you can do it if it's a fundraiser. Great, I'll donate the proceeds to books. So I just told them that I was making half of what I was making and I would give them half of the profits. But at the end of the year, I had raised the school enough money that they bought a lot of books and they gave me a trophy that said, Keith, the Candyman Habersberger. So technically, I'm an award-winning candy maker. Um, Ned was not very supportive of my decisions, and I do not appreciate that. He obviously has not had very good candied fruits. Mm. Mm, he's like strawberries. Mm -hmm. Like candy. Almost. Yeah. And then I see we have some citric acid over there. I'm gonna try to use that to just like dust on with a little sugar and citric acid dust so it has that like textural sour candiness. Let's taste it. Oh! The sugar is starting to crystallize around the edge a little bit. So I've seen before on cooking shows they add like a little bit of water around the edge so that the sugar doesn't crystallize. It keeps it like down into the liquid. It's not getting much warmer though. My tester hasn't really gotten there yet. So I'm at like 210, I think it needs to be a little hotter. I'm looking for it to be a little bit more like congealed around there. It's still like a little bit too liquidy. I might actually add a little bit more corn syrup. I don't know. Just waiting for my mixture to get hot enough. I'm waiting for my stuff to get cool enough. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to do three panels of flavors. Yeah, that's fun. That's gummies. We're gonna move these into the fridge. Careful so they don't all bleed together. Careful so they don't, don't all bleed together. Oh, oh, the door. This hot plate keeps turning off. And maybe we'll make some gummy, gummy horses. Gay horse. 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 I think gay horse might live in our closet. Oh, don't put I it back know. in the closet. I think the hot plate gets to a max temp and it turns off and it's not getting my mixture hot enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and move to the stove top. Come on, this is already at 240. Matt, how's it going back there? Hey, doesn't this look great? Look at this. Look, doesn't this look like it's gonna be hard oh, candy? Oh yeah, that already looks way more candy-like. Mine also isn't getting there, so maybe that was why. <laughs> it's also taking forever. Becky was trying to sabotage us both. Oh, Becky. I can't believe her sometimes. I like don't see what the problem is. <laughs> We're now at 300, so I'm gonna take it off the stove and do a test one. Something smells like burnt It's my sugar getting too hot. Uh oh. It's caramelizing. I feel like this is not gonna turn out exactly as I wanted. But here's where we start watching it. So we're gonna watch it slowly 
change its pore viscosity. And we're gonna try to catch it at the right time. And we'll know, because we'll take this little spoonful, pour it in this cold glass. Right now it's just gonna shoot to the bottom. But eventually, it's gonna squiggle in there. This is perfect. The first one I did, it turned out beautiful. You know, nice hard candy outside. Hopefully they all turn out like this. Okay, it's getting closer. So right now it's doing little beads. Sugar. And sour. Whisk it up. <laughs> Ooh. I think I inhaled some of this. Just again. <coughs> I wouldn't recommend it. it. Smells like caramel over there. I think it's burnt. I oh think no. I burnt it. I think I'm gonna need to make another one. With this new oven, it's way hotter. I think I can do it because these are just turning to brown. I don't think it's gonna taste as good. How's it going, Keith? Now, yes. what do you think Becky's gonna like about this? I'm not sure if she'll like this one. Okay. The thing I think she likes is in the fridge. <laughs> Oh, they look cool. Matt, how's it going? I hear you're starting over. There is a struggle situation. Oh no, brown. It's brown. So it, it doesn't look as appetizing, you know? The consistency is great. It's just the color, and I think it's gonna taste a little burnt. It should be good enough. Crunch, you hear the crunch? That's pretty cool. Does it taste a little burnt though? Honestly, it tastes mostly like a strawberry. <laughs> Which is what worried me about the entire plan. Um, that's the whole point. Okay. I think I just accidentally ate the stem. Honestly, a candied strawberry stem ain't bad. 24 minutes left, Matt. If you're starting over, I wish you luck. It's gonna be tight. It's almost squiggling. See the almost squiggle in there? Real foamy. Foamness. It smells weird. I'm just gonna pour it into this and hopefully it lays flat and comes like glass. Is it gonna turn hard? Who knows, Matt? Maybe this will come like a fruit leather of sorts. <gasps> At 300. That was the sound of the hot pan hitting the cold ice. Uh oh, rogue blackberry. They look beautiful. Now, how are you going to arrange the You know, just some that? zhuzh, maybe put some fresh fruit around it. So more not candy. Maybe just some chocolate around it. Okay, so you can like yeah. We're gonna freeze the jellos just to get them to set faster in this time limit. The horses, I don't think they're gonna make it to the pasture. Gosh, I really hope those little gems set. How much time do we have? 11 minutes. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting on my candy to set. Has it solidified yet? My sour tray, my sour tray. I'm gonna get my Got two caramel eyes. I think this is all I have. I can't do any more. Oh my god, what happened? Yeah, I just didn't watch it for like a second. And I got oh two more. Oh my god, it looks like tar. How it's smoky in here. You're welcome. <laughs> Cutting down. Okay. Jeez, violent. Cracked sugar glass. Yeah. Terrible texture. Technically candy. And very similar to the candy I used to make as a kid. Four minutes. Oh no, four minutes? <laughs> Could have sat a little longer. This is almost my vision. I didn't have enough time to color the candy that I was using. These, see, these are all solid, but they won't come out. Jellies is sweet jewelry. Do you think she'll be able to tell whose is whose? Perfect. And the other stuff. This is our one minute left. Matt, you look perfect. After all that naysaying you gave me earlier. We're making because... a TV show. Of course I think you're gonna win, but I can't tell the people that. He, oh my God, what just happened? About a fistful of citric acid in my mouth. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, hands up. Let's bring out Becky, see what she thinks. Now, Becky, Keith, and Matt have both made you a beautiful candy dish. Are you ready to see them? Yes. Okay, please open your eyes in three, two, one. <laughs> it is very interesting. <laughs> there are a lot of colors. Uh huh. It kind of smells like jelly right now. It kind of looks like <laughs> somebody's inside. <laughs> Let's try A first. Right. I mean, this looks like something you would be served at like a fancy wedding. Is it candy? It might be candied. I think I'm gonna go with the grapes. Pretty safe choice. 
Oh, oh they it's are hard. hard. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is good. That's pretty good. It is really good. The texture is good. Fruit on the inside. It's not like overly sweet or overly sour. Oh, and I like how it gets stuck in your teeth. It passes it is. the uh, the Becky candy mm -hmm. test. The cavity test. The cavity <laughs> test. <gasps> oh, we're a little wetter on the cherry. Uh oh. This one's a little messier. That's wow, pretty good. That's pretty good? That's pretty good. You feel like the person that made this for you loves you. Oh yeah, this person loves me a lot. <laughs> like I feel like they're just hugging me with some really strong arms. Candy B. Oh no, this person does not love me. What is this texture? <laughs> what is that? It's a very indescribable taste. <laughs> Kind of makes me want more though. Oh, it, dish A mm. is giving you a nice mm -hmm. firm hug. What is dish B doing to you? Just slapping you in the face. <laughs> oh no. But every like couple bites, you'll get just a pound of sugar. Whoa. I would say it gets like negative points for presentation, but then like a couple Whoa. bonus points for the zing. Oh my God. Dish B part two. So I'm trying to get it out. <laughs> Nothing. No response. Oh, there we go. I got one. <laughs> do we have to swallow it whole? How do I eat this? <laughs> and there's almost no flavor. I do anything other than out. be a little stuck nub in the back of my molar. Oh my god. Oh. So if this was a warm hug, this yeah. was a slap in the face. What's this one? They love you so little that they would be willing to just mow you down with a car. Oh god. And then back it up. I don't, I regret asking it now. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a really hard choice. There were a lot of pluses about things and a lot of minuses mm. about things. It could be tough. The dishes both had a lot of good things about them and some less good things about mm. them. One of the dishes, we wondered, is it candy? The other dish, do they hate us? Let's reveal the winner in three, two, one. watching a movie, just sitting there with my popcorn, I'd be eating the little goobers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I was with my goobers, my sweet and sour savory goobers. I really thought that I would be a loser, but my goobers managed to prevail. Yay! Hey. What are we gonna do a song competition? It's like sour and burnt and bitter and bad. You're welcome.